Republican delegate, Nick. Um, so tell us why you're doing this, if you would. Yeah, well, probably mostly for the same reasons that a lot of these other guys are out here doing this. Uh, there's just uh, been a, a stifling of, of freedom and a, and a stifling of unity in Canada for, for two years. Uh, a lot of a lot of people are down. A lot of people are fired. Uh, man, you can't even go into a, a grocery store without getting into an argument about a mask or, or whatnot. So what what really drove me to do this is uh, is the smiling faces that I seen on the people that that organized it. Like a, a good friend of mine helped to put this together, and uh, and it's just been wonderful to see all the smiling faces that have come together. Uh, and it doesn't matter Christians, non Christians, all all sorts. The the natives are out with banging their drums. It's just a wonderful sensation to see unity, you know, once again in Canada. Well, it's it's beautiful to watch from below your border. I have to say, you're being snarled at, but you're smiling back. The government seems to be doing all it can to prevent you from peacefully protesting its, speaking of fascist, policies. Um, but you're doing it anyway. Are you worried about the repercussions? Oh, not at all. Not at all. I mean, some of my friends have been uh, arrested for pastoring their churches. We're fully prepared to, to, to smile and push through for, for the greater good, Tucker. We, uh, we, we want to see Christ glorified in the church and out of the church. So we're pushing forward. Come with me. So why, are, uh, uh, wait, you, I shouldn't even pose this to you. Let me just say, you seem much more like a civil rights hero than a fascist to me. Are any media in Canada supporting you or at least arguing that you should have a right to express your views? Yeah, not that I know of, Dr. I think maybe Rebel News is, is uh, yeah. putting out some positive stuff about the, about the movement, but uh, the, the mainline media is much the same in the USA. These guys are, these guys are not our friends. They're, they're coming after us. They're slandering really good people. Man, some of the stuff they're saying about really good people dragging their names through the mud, it's shameful. So uh, no, no fascists here, moms and dads and kids uh, standing around a bonfire beside me where the, the convoy came through here about, I don't know, half an hour ago, uh, standing here you know, with, their, with their kids and join a, join a fire with people they haven't you know, got to hang out with for a very long time. I got to say, it's just so thrilling to see this, having watched Canada, it was such a beautiful country, a wonderful country, descend into this darkness um, and to see someone like you standing up cheerfully. Uh, is really affirming. So thank you. Sheldon Andreas, good luck. Yeah, you're, you're welcome, Tucker. Thank you.